<laughs> oh my god, they were wild. They were wild. Yo, YouTube, it's going on back on another What Doing Waves video. We are, what are we talking about? What are doing waves? Uh, there's a lot of things I want to talk about in this video, and I'm going to try to really get it done within under 10 minutes, right? Uh, obviously, no gotcha game one last night. Uh, personally, I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't. And I think there's a very big reason why the, like the, why the gotcha games that we love didn't win. But I also want to talk about... Um, Really, just I, I walked away feeling a little bit disappointed from the show. I mean, I think the show overall was bad. They started on a massive high with Witcher 3 and Elden Ring multiplayer, and it just went down from there. It really did. Bad comedy. Uh, trailers. A lot of the trailers showed no gameplay. I have no reason to be hyped for this Naughty Dog game because I saw nothing of interest. But the final five seconds of the sequence looked cool when she was potentially fighting something. But, <clears throat> I mean, it's a Naughty Dog game, so I guess they want you to be excited because it's a Naughty Dog game. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about things and why I actually, I'm going to be honest with you, I, from my perspective, and I'm trying to see it from both sides, and I'm going to present both sides of the coin, uh, I was disappointed with the Wuthering Waves marketing. Uh, not even from a perspective of a fan who already saw that trailer earlier, which I'll get to in a minute, because I think that trailer dropping early was still a very bad marketing move, uh, and it overall left disappointment for the community, but just why I, I, I think they got to... Renacida is 19 days away. We got to start locking it. Um, you know, we had this conversation on the podcast about the marketing and I had some faith, but I'm kind of having a little bit of doubt. So let's break this down. So let's go over this real quick. Um, you know, I have no idea, sidebar, how Astrobot won so many awards. That is not game of the year in the slightest, in the slightest. It, it actually blows my mind. So before we can even go to player's voice, right? Uh, I, again, that, that, that was insane. Also, I also want to address this as well. I understand being upset. I 1,000% being upset. But we need to address this. Do not go into the Wuthering Waves Discord shit-talking. The Wuthering Waves Discord is not meant for you to get banned. Please refrain from sharing derogatory comments or opinions about other games, communities, companies, or rule, as per Rule 5 of our Rules English. Excessively negative or excessive hate comments, example, calling another game garbage or trash or prohibited and will be sanctioned. Please remember to be uh, respectful. Guys, uh, that's not the place to do it. If you want to go into your favorite streamer's chat and you want to, you know, shit talk there, uh, whatever the case may be, do whatever you want. But it, it's not that deep. It's not. Right. And obviously, I think this whole war would have been 20 times worse. If um if a gotcha game won, right? I think I think that would have brought some real controversy to the scene, but we don't have that, thankfully. I forgot to turn my subathon timer off. We're doing that on Twitch, by the way. Um <clears throat> also we're giving away a free five star. Sidebar. Go to my Twitch, X Twenty giveaway. We're giving away a free guaranteed uh banner five star January third. Anyways. So uh let's break this down. Best mobile game. I I I'm looking at this. The reason why Zenless Zone Zero, Wuthering Waves, and AFK Journey did not win, is that these gotcha games, although the gotcha market has expanded tremendously, tremendously since 2020 with the launch of Genshin Impact, right? Um, and that game is a juggernaut in itself. Uh, the reason why it didn't win is because a Baltero, Balatro, whatever you want to call it, I don't know, Cilantro, it is objectively a more universal game it's simple it's poker with a twist and some gotcha and it's a ten dollar purchase i think there might be microtransactions in it but <clears throat> people are so confused oh my god my game lost listen a 50 year old most 50 60 70 year olds 40 year olds uh or even me you know some people my age 25 26 uh they don't want to sit down and play a gotcha game right there's a lot of negatives to playing this game and so a simple game like baltero Bellatro, cilantro whatever it is uh winning genuinely makes sense i thought pokemon was going to win personally but either one of these games winning makes sense because the market reach that they have over these other gotcha games is fucking insane right uh withering waves objectively is a better game to me I, let me not say objectively to a lot of people it would say it's a better game it's more design it's more polished there's more intricacies to it and it's more complex same with zzz afk journey whatever but the thing is, i'm not saying that as a slight to afk journey i really don't know the intricacies of afk journey like that but the reason why this one is exactly the the, the reason why one is exactly because it is not intricate 
It is not complicated. It is easy. And you could just buy it for $10 and that's it. And you can play the game. And I don't know if there's microtransactions. There might be. There might be some gotcha elements to it. So people could spend more money on it. But if anything, it's more genius that they're making you pay for it because it looks like a simple game. You play the game, you're addicted, and then you spend more money on it. It's fucking genius, right? So, guys, our gotcha games are not the whole market share. It's not the whole market cap. And realistically, a lot of the revenue comes from CN, especially CN Mobile. I'm not saying global markets don't exist, but, you know, they, they... They're not like this. They, they're not invested into woo-woo, into ZZZ, like that. Um, so I get it. I understand being upset, and I'm never going to be the person to tell you how you feel. Uh, I don't care how you feel in the sense of if you want to be insulted, if you want to be upset, if you want to be mad, hey, man, that, that, that's your prerogative, right? But I want to give an explanation instead of saying, oh, my God, this game is dog shit. The game it is. Like, guys, it's, it's a simpler game. It's, it's made for adults. It's made for old people. Like, people with incomes, people with jobs, people that are bored. You know, this is something my fucking dad would play. You know what I'm saying? My dad's not playing Genshin Impact. And don't send me the one TikTok of the one grandpa playing TikTok. I play Genshin Impact with his nephew. It's, it's adorable. But that's not the world, right? Player's choice. This one, uh, Withering Waves lost. ZZZ lost. Genshin Impact lost. Black Myth Wukong uh, was a fucking phenomenon. Uh, although, if we went to the Twitch category right now, I doubt it's even that high. Uh, let's see. Black Myth Wukong. Let's see. 800 viewers. If I went live right now, I'd be the third highest person in the category. But I think we have to remember when the game dropped, that game took over everybody's life. Similar to with Elden Ring and with the Elden Ring DLC. And so what happens is, is that that game is another situation where the market share and the market is just so much wider in global than it is in something like CN. Or I mean, actually, I won't speak on the CN side, but here, most people are going to play Black Myth Wukong over a shitty mobile game. Because that's how got people look at gacha games, right? Uh, and again, player choice, to my understanding... To my understanding, is a specific category where the winner is solely decided by fans, and I found an article discussing how they feel that uh, player's choice is unfair because of uh, games like Genshin. Uh, I had the article up. Let me see. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, yeah. Thoughts on Gacha Games being nominated. I voiced my issues with this award. It's an editorial citing my thoughts on Sonic Frontiers losing the award to Genshin Impact. When you have games with massive communities like Hoyverse titles, it just makes other uh, competing player choice uh, awards genuinely unfair. Mitch, in my mind, is meaning that this description of player choice is, is correct. I was trying to find the actual description on the website. Couldn't find it. But, like, I mean, it sucks. But also, Black Myth Wukong is a great video game that deserves that award. Uh, you know, you could think Wu Wu deserves it, and that is fine. But again, the the opposite side is: listen, that is a very well polished video game. Did you buy for sixty dollars? Did you have a hundred plus hours of content to pack into? And uh, games like that are very rare to come by these days. It's not a live service game. That's why the Twitch viewership is down. They went to develop a very good game, right? So that is that. Uh, why am I disappointed with the marketing of Wuthering Waves? Very simple. Uh, I think that they did a poor job. I was praying to God. I was praying to God there's no porn came up. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, Wuthering Waves. So they posted this like 12 hours before the show, like 12, 13 hours before the show. And I just don't understand. Yes, this was a great trailer. Um I, I don't know, man. I feel like from a new view, I, I think I'm trying to put my, myself in their shoes. I feel like they wanted to just uh, show cool elements of the game, previous things to people. Be like, oh, wow, that's pretty sick. I could experience all this. And then at the tail end, they put Renesitas for a little bit of fan service. But I feel like this would have had a much bigger impact. Huh? I think it's had a much bigger impact if they would have launched, let this just launch with the game awards like you know what i mean like i feel like if they would have let this launch with the game awards imagine if hoyaverse dropped that zzz trailer 12 hours before 
And then people are spotting like the CEO or the creator of WUA in America at the awards. And they're like, oh, something big is coming. Something big is coming. And then they just sewed the shame trailer. Uh, it is very underwhelming for your current audience and your current player base. And again, I think that is not a bad promotional video in the sense of, again, I mean, you're not really showcasing anything other than that it looks cool. You're not really showcasing much, but I, I, th I think it's fine. If that, is, if that was just the promotional video and this was it, I would, have, I would have had the same exact reaction that I had earlier, which is up on my YouTube channel. But I don't understand why would you spoil it? Spoiled that you get everyone's hopes up, and then now people are upset and they're annoyed. Again, guys, the clock is ticking, man. This thing is coming out, like, what, January 1st, January 2nd? Like, we have no, no announcement for a special live stream yet. We have no other drip, which they dripped a lot, but, it, but no, no trailers. Guys, it, 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 we're getting close. We're cutting close. And we cannot use this argument that their, their marketing has always been bad. That is, a, that is a bad excuse. You're a company. You're a growing company. You now have Tencent back behind you. You have a, a, a multi-million, billion-dollar conglomerate on your side. Let's, let's get this marketing in order, boys. Right? Like, if, if I'm Coro Games and I have Tencent, I'm now rushing to put together the best promotional material, the best marketing plan possible within the next 19, 18 days to say, let's fucking sell 2.0. Uh, if we do not have a live stream this upcoming week, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. I, I think, dude, why are we waiting to do a live stream so long? You know? Or, or something. Give us something else. This is not greedy. This is not being facetious or saying things to cause a problem this is strictly me discussing why i think they need to get it together bro um like they need to get it together it is i love the game more than anyone else i do this game changed my life but boys it did not get robbed and also Coro, please put some promotional material together and let it be a surprise don't drop it before the game show, bro. Please, these 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 mistakes, man. And obviously, it's a mistake. No one's saying the company's dog should EOS. Oh my God, EOS, EOS, whatever the case may be. But please, like, if if you are misconstruing this or think this is me shitting on the company, it's not. I literally quite, in fact, want the opposite. I want 2.0 to prosper and make them as much money as they can ever imagine. But it's hard to make money when you are simultaneously uh, hyping up your fans and then they're now walking away disappointed and when you are not delivering on the marketing aspects of it. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. You can tell me if you disagree. I would definitely love to hear a different viewpoint. That being said, I love you. Mwah. I'll see you in the next one.